the ridge where we play, or in Lepcha, Kalimpong, once a quiet hamlet on the eastern Himalayas. The children play no doubt and they walk. What a long walk it must have been from the distant moons and mystic gongs, from magic to market. <laughs> A walk towards changing times, scanning the light that filters through the palpable objects. Words move, music moves only in time. But that which is only living can only die. Words after speech reach into the silence. Only by form, the pattern, can words or music reach the stillness. Not the stillness of the violin while the note lasts. Not that only, but the coexistence or say that the end precedes the beginning and the end and the beginning are always there before the beginning and after the end. Gandhi Ashram, a school at Kalimpong, where the local children are taught Western classical music. Father Maguer, the founder of Gandhi Ashram, he tells us about his inspiration and motivation. Motivation, I suppose, would be uh, a Christian motivation. As Christ says, we're uh, supposed to uh, 
take the way we treat the poorest of the people as the way we treat him. He tells us the greatest, of, the greatest among you should be the least. We should aim at being servants, not masters. So it's simple, simply put, it's a, a Christian motivation. Christ tells us we should be good to the poor, should share what we have with the poor, try to educate the poor, that sort of thing.
Anybody coming to visit the area, the people in the hills here, will be struck very soon with their talent for and their love for music. It's a very important part of their lives. Now, when you try to get poor children to come to school in the beginning, how can you get them interested in uh, sitting down and studying? How can you get them to concentrate? Well, we thought maybe, because of their great interest in music, if we were to try to have them perform well in music, that would give them confidence. It would help them to concentrate. I had young men in a youth group for years in Darjeeling and we had them study music very carefully. And I found that they learned music very, very well, were very enthusiastic about their music. And when I came over to Kalimpong in 1993 from Darjeeling, I asked some of these young men to come over here and see how we could make out with music here. I brought three of them over from Darjeeling, the three who teach music here now, and music caught on very quickly. They're certainly learning the fine points of Western classical music. We very much hope this year to have people come from England who are expert musicians so that they do learn the technique and the fine points of Western classical music. It will probably take some time and experimenting for them to be able to form a, a fusion of the two, Nepali classical music and the Western classical. It would probably take some time for, and experimenting for them to be able to adapt, to unify Nepali classical music and Western classical music. It will take some time. The idea is not just to play Western classical music at all. It's to get the training, the technique of Western classical teaching, and to be able then to perform Nepali classical music adapted that much better.
In order to arrive at what you do not know, you must go by a way which is a way of ignorance. In order to possess what you do not possess, you must go by the way of disposition. In order to arrive at what you are not, you must go through the way in which you are not.